Hello everybody, in this video I will show you what's new in the version 5 of the Fire Admin uh, script. So this version is based on your requests for changes and upgrades. So what we have done is is few things. First of all is we are able now to to show and hide uh, to hide some fields and also make some fields read only and you will find this in app.js in config and here are the hidden fields these are the preview only keys uh, and uh, uh, we also have in this version uh, data related on user i will show you how that works and the, the fourth is the, the ordering of arrays array data and I will go one by one. Okay, so first let's start from the last one and that's the ordering of the uh, fields, ordering of items inside an array. So we have here a, a database structure and one of it is we have uh, clubs in one city in Skopje and there we have the items and this is an array in fact. And we have one, zero, one, two, three and four. So if we see the data, it's a regular objects uh, put in uh, items and if we go in our menu clubs scopie and this is an array so we are waiting for the data now okay so X excel summer club is the first one excel summer club and what i can do is i can make it as a third one and this will be automatically updated in the database so now as a third element we have the summer club mk and this is a really handy feature for this admin panel the second one the is the user related data this is a really uh, powerful feature so uh, imagine if uh, you uh, want to create a front end admin panel for your user where he where he can update his informations uh, from version 4 and behind we couldn't do that because all the data is displayed to all the users all the users who have access and from here on uh, in the menu we can use this magic field so user user ID and whenever you put user ID this will be automatically translated to the user ID for example I can see only events uh, for example created by this user ID if that's our database structure but at the moment it's not so I'll put it back so in user ID we have here for my profile and if we go in my profile you will see that this user plus it's directly used my ID there so at the moment there is no, uh, uh, there is no information there so for my user so if I see user data and then uh, Z O, there is no data. But if I route some element there, uh, I can copy from here and then user data name Daniel something like that. And if I do open the User, ah, sorry, this is user data, so I will change that to user data, user data, okay, and this is automatically changed. So, user, user data, here it is. So, this is my data only, and if I'm not able to access uh, the rest of it that's the second thing The, for example now if we go in events in Skopje in some club uh, the club that we had for example Skopje and then Excel Summer Club I want for example the name to not be changeable and I want to show it at this moment is changeable so I need to go I will need to write that name in the list of keys that are not editable Hiding keys, preview only key, and that's name. Okay, and we have name as a, as a read only. So the next time we'll try to edit it, it shouldn't work. 
yeah and this works and I want to hide for example email and hide now email is gone so these four new things are available in version 5.0 you can check it on uh, code canyon yeah. thanks for watching bye bye